Ready? We are live. Oh my goodness. You know what they say about pictures? Well, they say a lot of things about pictures, including mm -hmm. a picture is worth a thousand words. Ridiculous. Well, yeah. What is a good picture worth in the world of pictures? We're going to find out tonight <laughs> on the Astound Yourself Dating Show. Right. Hello, everybody. Richard Francois here, your dating strategist. And alongside me again is the illustrious <laughs> co hostess. What is your name, illustrious co hostess? My name is Elaine Saunders. That's right. Elaine Saunders is in the <laughs> house. She is our illustrious co hostess. It's not letting, letting me go that New York accent. It's the Saunders. It sounds we'll come better in when and you say with a Scottish Swanders. accent next week and it's, really blow your mind. Okay. It sounds better when you say Saunders, doesn't it? And so <laughs> Elaine is your intuitive matchmaker. That means if you're sick of the online dating games, all the bad pictures, all the catfishing, all the whatever you're sick of with the online whatevers. dating. Lots of whatevers. Is, <laughs> lots of whatevers. You fill in the blank. It is time to do the matchmaking thing. And Elaine is our specialist here in the New England area for that. Personal it's introductions. Especially if you live in New Hampshire and Northern Massachusetts, Elaine can help you out. But today we're going to talk about a special topic. The topic is photographs. Right. What is it about photographs? You ever go on an online dating page, you look at somebody's profile or even their social media profile and you go, what's up with that picture? Oh boy. Yeah, I see it all the time. Yeah. And I just, I saw it. I think we had a big discussion in the Facebook group, right? We had a big discussion in the Facebook group. We had oh people my goodness. give give feedback about um, photos, what they think should be do's and don'ts of photos. Then we asked them, well, take that feedback and post photos that apply the feedback. And they all made a joke of it. <laughs> they all started <laughs> posting silly photos. All that being said, we are going to bring an expert tonight somebody whose mission, whose expertise is to have singles take really good photos online. Yeah. His name is none other than John Fisher. Before being John on, say a few things about John because you've known John yes. a lot longer than I have. Oh, yes. Yes. I met John because he hosted singles events. Ah. Yes. And so being an event planner myself, I was so curious to know who was this man hosting singles events and he did it all around his uh, promoting his photography. So I needed to know who was this man that everybody was raving about his photographs. And um, I attended one of his events and I had the opportunity to have some of my photos taken. And um, and if anybody wants to uh, get in touch with me, you know, put your name in the comments and reach out to me. I will share with you the photos that John took of me. Um, I think it was maybe three years ago now and uh, John, I'm due for new photos. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my hair different though. Um, yeah, so I was quite pleased. They were beautiful and I've recommended a few other clients. I have clients who've been to John and they are really amazing and mesmerizing, quite frankly. They're beautiful photographs. Um, but he'll tell you more about them. I'm happy to introduce John Fisher. And uh, he's out of the Waltham area, which is right where we are from right now. So we're really close. We could have maybe had a, a discussion yeah, in a roundtable tonight. Big but discussion. Yeah, but if we would have planned it better. But oh well. Let's bring Next John time. on. And while we bring John <laughs> on, I'm going to have you slide over to the left so we could be more centered. Just slide your chair over. What's your knee, though? Don't, don't hit your kneecap. To the left, to the left, to the left. Let's see if I can. You sing the Beyonce into, song. Okay, yeah, to we left. go. That's better. To the left, to the left. To the left. All to right. The left. John Fisher, welcome <laughs> to. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Astound Yourself Dating Show. We are so Thank glad you had time to be with us tonight. We <laughs> as singles are, are really in need of some help. And oh we're my goodness. You're going to be able to, to help us with that tonight. Oof. I hope Thank so. Thank you for joining us, John. My so happy pleasure. Happy. So Thank tell us what made you me. what made you get into photographing singles for profiles. Cause, cause I, I imagine you've been in the business for a while. So you can tell us how long you've been and then just go right into why did you pick singles to be your niche clientele? Great question. Um, actually, it's um, a friend of ours, uh, Jason McGarva, being a normal, regular um, ball kind of thing. It was a certain, it was a, just a regular, normal portrait kind of sessions. And he saw the photos and he saw they were different and they were filled with emotion because that's kind of what I do. Mm. And so Jason McGarva is a dating coach, and he said, wow, this kind of emotionally based 
And so he just um, just tried it out, and I just loved it with a client of helping them feel better about themselves and about bringing out this emotional content. Became this thing that I just. So you're breaking up a little bit, John, uh, but just to recap for our viewers, what you're saying is that you started out with working with uh, somebody else who, when he saw your photographs, really got got captivated by the emotion that was being captured in the pictures. They weren't just faces. You, you could see emotion in the pictures. And he saw an opportunity there to have that be uh, like a special feature of people's dating profile. So here you are. That's not become your specialty, having people show emotion in their pictures so that it's not just worth, worth a thousand words, it's worth a million wows. Well, that's an interesting way to say it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I come up with interesting ways to say stuff all the time. I don't know. It's, it's a gift or a curse. I guess it depends on the day or who you are. It depends asking. on who you're talking <laughs> that's to right. and what you say. <laughs> and, the real, and the real key, you know, just, just well, should, should I wait for you to ask me? Should I just, I was oh, just, please continue. Yes. The real, like, unique key of online dating photos is what if it was possible that somebody could really by seeing a photo it's not just what you look like but what it feels like to be with you really to really get a sense of not just a physical form but a real oh my god i kind of know that person already almost like you've already been on a first date what if that was possible and so i've been um it's been my mission to make that possible, to make that happen, that the photos really are so much more than a physical form. It's like, oh, this is what the person is like. And that to me for online dating is essential to really go through the path of a, finding a real relationship to start off getting a sense of a real person, especially people in the middle, that they're middle age, you know, where they're insecure about how they might, their form, their physical form is. If I can bring out a real, a real person that's uh, that's everything so that's my that's my shtick that's awesome that's that that so if you bring out their essence or as the french might say a certain je ne sais quoi <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> who doesn't want a little je ne sais quoi on their photograph exactly. whatever that means it sounds good it's fresh let's put it on it sounds good it sounds good <laughs> this is this is awesome now we're going to talk about how, not necessarily how you do that, but we're going to show some before and after photos. Before we do that, let's talk about some of the things that people seem to think are good ideas for photo taking that are actually not, that don't work. So give us some ideas, both from women and for men, of the things that they think are good ideas for photo taking that actually are counterproductive. That's a really interesting. I might go in a slightly different direction from your question. Sure. But, okay. but, 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 what, but what it brings up to me is like the normal way of taking a picture, right, is to get a really good smile, mm -hmm. right? So you're looking at the camera and okay, I'm ready, right? Even the, having that smile because you want, you really want to impress somebody. You want somebody to think that you're happy, to think something, and you take a picture. And so my, I don't think that's possible to, so what that does actually, is that takes a picture of a scared person who is trying really hard to accomplish something. It's a so like a like a high high emoji. Yeah, I, I have that sample photo from your uh, workshop because uh, I, I helped uh, John at one point uh, do a workshop, right John? Mm -hmm. yes. um, and so I have a picture that we put up. We did a Zoom workshop on how to do better online um, profiles yeah. and photos. And there was a picture of a woman who looked like, <laughs> like totally terrified. And I and I was hoping that uh, we could show that, but we are having a little technical difficulty, so I can't display we it. We are, i.e., slow computer. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, but if I may, if I may speak a little bit more on that topic. Yeah, sure. Please do. Yeah, that's actually the whole thing. To be honest with you, is. People think they're not photogenic. People have a history of hating getting their picture taken. So for real, like no no bull here. When some anybody if, if you have that loaded, any and you think you're taking a good picture for online dating, what you're taking a picture of is somebody 
trying hard to be something that they might may or may not be in that moment, but they think that by pretending that they are that person, this happy person, this whatever, that will be enough. So I've discovered that the only way that that end result is genuine is actually to distract the hell out of the person, to completely distract them from the camera and just let them be happy for real. And while that's happening, they're really truly enjoying something, thinking some happy thoughts for real. If I catch them in that moment, that photo is genuine, it's real, it's emotional, and it truly is a picture of their of them, them being at their best and them being so truly it's different at best. for everybody, not right? Funny. Pardon me? So it's not like it would be different for everybody. So maybe for me, it would be like you take me to a car dealership and I'm looking at all these nice cars. Is that <laughs> uh, some way to distract them? I'm thinking you have a professional tickling them in the background. Is that, does that work sometimes? I, 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 bottom line, I generally act like a total idiot and get them to just not notice what's going on. And we just have a fun time. So pretty much I'm just having a fun time with the client and I'm taking a lot of pictures. And while that's happening, it, it's hard to explain, but it's yeah. not it's a an picture. Experience. Of, it's an experience and it's not a picture of somebody trying. It's a picture yeah. of somebody being. Oh, I love it. The picture of somebody being versus trying. That is awesome. And who doesn't want the company of somebody who's being rather than somebody who's trying? Who would not want that? Well, we just want to say hello to some of the people who are watching. We know there are a few of uh, more of you who are watching, but uh, we want to say hello to Rosa. And Rosa is feeling jealous. Rosa wants to know how come she did not get an invite to Richard's mansion. <laughs> well, Rosa, the invite is not open to you if you want to join in Richard's mansion, but it is it is quite a commute if you want to do it. <laughs> Rosa is from the West Coast, and we're in here in the East Coast. So if you want to join in, in the, the uh, Richard's uh, living room here, you're welcome. But I have one rule. You cannot touch the piano. That's too That's hard. All. That's too hard. <laughs> Leave the piano alone, <laughs> Rosa. <laughs> Where is she so, from? Rosa is in California. Ah, uh, okay. Rosa is in it's California. It's worth the trip, Rosa. Nah, yeah. Worth the trip. So let's go into some some of the let, let's walk somebody through the experience. Uh, let's say someone says, uh, for example, Tammy, who's saying hello to us right now. Hello, Tammy. Let's say Tammy says, "Okay, John, I want to 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 engage in this photo experience." What does Tammy need to bring to the photo shoot besides a positive, adventurous attitude? Um, so interesting. Well, first of all, I kind of want to say this weird thing. And it's really weird. It's really weird to say this publicly. I've never said, I've been saying this. I'm one of the, probably one of the only online dating photo specialists in the country. There's and not many. Of, pardon me? There's not many, if any. I mean, I really, I'm in the business. Yeah, I've been in the business a long time, and there's not many people who could say they are. And what what that means is, like, there's baby photos, there's weddings, but what does it take to actually elicit? Because so, so it's not just distraction; it's also eliciting eliciting certain emotional content, specific emotional content that we know as people in the industry really work for online dating. So it's a whole series of how the hell do you do that? Part of my language, and so one of the things, part of and part of the thing is we're creating an illusion. So online dating photos are normally snapshots of your life, right? So in in a two hour session with me, somehow we have to create this illusion that it was not a photo shoot, that it was a whole year of amazingness, right? And so one of the so the answer answer your question, Richard, it's a lot of changes of clothing and a lot of different backgrounds, like a different scenes. So it seems like the end result is a lot of different days, but it seems like you're amazing in all those days and you're genuinely right. amazing. And, and, and amazing will look different depending on the person and their personality because we don't Absolutely. have the same volume of amazing and the same range of amazing. Exactly. So you're not gonna come off as a fake. Whoever goes out with you will experience that amazingness if they play exactly. their cards right. <laughs> right. So exactly. in my really experience, exactly. my experience when um and, and my friends and, and clients, because I have personal friends and clients who have had their uh, photos done by John in a photo session, it looks like this. You bring a lot of clothing and you go to different places um, in a small spot, but different backdrops and backgrounds and 
And so there's a different feel to it. And when you're looking at the photographs, when you're reviewing the actual photographs John take, took, you, would, you wouldn't know that if they were taken within the same hour or two or three. You think that they were taken on literally different days. You know, they don't look like they were done five years apart because people look at photos and want to know that they were recent photos and they look like you actually, and they do look like the same person, but they look like they were taken days apart or weeks apart yeah. and in different settings. So it's it's really cool. It's amazing what he does. That's like, like a very unique experience. It's well thought yeah. out. It's, it's not fun. Flim flam. Yeah. And it also yeah. people, if I may say, like, like my... My like thing is people say, you know, I, I, my favorite people often think they're not photogenic, right? So they say, hey, I'm the forget, okay, forget about this. It's not, you know, I'm not photogenic. Don't even bother. And to me, like ding, bingo, that's my favorite client because I know for a fact, first of all, they're going to love the experience. And two, I, it's, a, I know for a fact they'll see themselves in a different light through this process I go to. So I love being part of this experience. Part of this transformation that people often go through. You bring out the best. There's no question. Yeah. I mean, there's there's no doubt about it. Well, we have a question for you here. I think it's going to be um, tough for you to answer. Here's the question: Where are you located? <laughs> and believe it or not, you, you don't even know, Elaine. So right now, I'm in Western Mass, but um, I'm I moved, but oh, I'm shooting. I'm shooting in I'm shooting in Boston at um, Harvard Square. If somebody wants to come out to East Hampton, I have a studio now also in East Hampton. Um, if you know, so Tammy, if you were somewhere else, I'd be happy to, you know, find some place um, that works for you actually. But primarily, I'm shooting in Harvard Square is my main, uh, you know, central location. And so what what um, what Elaine was saying, so it's not like different, I have different backgrounds, like different backdrops. So let's say in Harvard Square, if I literally tilt my camera one way or the other, it's different. And it could be just go like a half a block. And that little square of my camera could very easily seem like it's a different place entirely. It's not Harvard Square. It's who, who knows what it is. That sounds absolutely um, fascinating, and it sounds like a great value to be able to to stop in one place and have have the experience of being in several places, and yeah. also that to the people who are then seeing you. And those pictures don't necessarily have to only be utilized for our online profile. Maybe exactly. some of it can be used to, to send out uh, as a ho on holiday cards. Maybe that can be part of your your Facebook or LinkedIn profile. It could be utilized for multiple multiple uses, not just to wow somebody on, on whatever your your swipe app of choice happens to be that <laughs> day. <laughs> I make it sound so gourmet, don't I? Swipe app of choice. <laughs> and here's the thing too about that swipey thing, right? So the whole swipey thing, when somebody looks at, when, when somebody goes through the process, they, one photo, usually it's, you know, it's my business, but hey, it's true. The photos are it. If you're doing online dating, the photos are it. If, if the photos don't cut it, it's not going to work. Really don't even bother because it's going to be a miserable experience. But if your photos catch somebody's attention, the next one photo catches somebody's attention, the next thing they're going to do is look at the rest of the photos to make sure that you are what they thought you were in the other one. And so that's why we create this whole collection of photos that the whole collection really affirms that this amazing person affirms what they thought they saw. So it sounds like one of the things you probably would not have somebody do is have different hair colors throughout your photo shoot. Well, that'd be kind of complicated to do that in the middle of a photo shoot. But, <laughs> but it could happen actually where somebody puts up their hair a little bit differently actually throughout the shoots. I've had somebody come in, you know, guys that sometimes shave, sometimes don't. They come in shaven and go to the bathroom shaven. They have both looks. So that's actually totally acceptable. But the hair coloring during the shoot would be kind of complicated. Yeah, I was thinking maybe like changing wigs, wigs because I wigs. see I've seen those profile photos where you swipe and the more pictures you swipe, the more you can't actually see a common thread. It's mm. like there's seven pictures and eight different women. And you don't know how they the did same that. Profile? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because they, yeah. they look yeah. so different. One of them is 
super heavily made up. One of them, the hair color is one way, the hair, the hair color is another way. You want way. to show how versatile it's they are. It's long in one thing. It's not long in the other. Yeah. It's full hair, and then it's like half of it shaving Hi, off. Hi, my name is like, Sybil. Okay, who am I going to get <laughs> when Sybil. I show up on this thing? Right. It's like, right. What's the question? Oh, my age. Who am, who am I going to get? And, and so and that's part, part of it, too. And part of the thing, too, is um, honestly is this really fine balance of um, – you know, it's my obligation with, you know, with my camera to make somebody look as physically good as possible with the tricks I know about light and angles and stuff to make them look, you know, it's, you know, mostly, I, mostly I work with, you know, middle-aged people, but it doesn't have to be, but whatever it is, usually people like to look younger and thinner. Yes. And I do whatever I can without it being obvious that that's what's happening. I, I take a few pounds, I take a few years off their life, but it's still genuine and it's not photoshopped, but it's kind of what I do. And I, I have the, the best, you know, I have to strike the balance on being real and um, being real and being flattering. Like, why so it's not? not I have, I have so this ability. Real, right. I'm sorry. So, so being me. real and being flattering, that's, that's, uh, that's really a great balance. And, but it, it also sounds from what you're saying, it's not true the old adage that the camera adds 10 pounds. It sounds like the camera doesn't have to add 10 pounds if the photographer knows what, what they're doing. Yep, exactly. Yep, and it, and it feels like it's my obligation to the client to do yeah. my very best with what I know to make them look as good as they possibly can and feel as good as is part of my thing is, honestly, so, so it's like I want the photos to work, right? And I also, I want the client to feel really good about themselves, period. And it feels so amazing when I do whatever I do, the client walks away and goes, oh my God, is that me? And it just, um, it makes my day when that happens. You know, when I do that consistently, people just feel so good about themselves. With Perfect the segue to what I was gonna ask you next, John, because I wanna talk about results too. It's, I'm, it's wonderful to have the photo experience be unique and be enjoyable, but Let's talk about results. And I understand you cannot guarantee that because somebody took some photos that their love life is going to change. There's more to it than that. That's just the, the, the maybe the starting point, the diving board, the launching pad, whatever metaphor you want to use. But you must have some clients who have come back to you and shared some results. Can you share a couple of before and after stories with us about, about uh, um, what has happened for some people after a photo session with you? that they've then put on, on to their online dating site. Yeah, so there's a few different, like, you know, I've shot a few weddings of people that, you know, used my photos and got married, and they were they felt, I, like, I was, like, from their perspective, I was part of their wedding, and it wasn't like they, it was not a job. It was more yeah. like I was honored by them coming to me and saying, we want you here because you were so much part of it. And, you know, gave me, it still gives me chills to think of that. And often, but often the very bottom line, the very bottom line is that the numbers of the numbers of results increase. And often for women, when sometimes women get too many, uh, too much, re just general, they often get a lot of basic hits. There's yes. the basic concept is the quality of the responses increase is when you're putting out something that obviously looks like you put effort into it, the result of somebody looking at, well, somebody will get it and say, yep, this person's serious and you know the people that normally would are just messing around are not going to bother and people that themselves are very serious will be the ones that'll be you know making contact and that's like consistent throughout and then there's some experience of people like truly being transformed by the experience um it's weird to say this but like there's one time one guy he, he didn't have the right clothing his body okay. was shaped i knew that he had to, he really needed um, custom clothing. His calves were just too big. It was too. It was just a, his personal body. I sent him home. I said, you know. I'm so what me. was wrong with the clothing? If we're looking at his clothes, what would we say needed to be adjusted? So for somebody who's listening right now, no, no, so they can this picture, is not for anybody. Do like what? Richard, this is not for anybody to listen to about that. Meaning, like it was something very unique to this person. To him, okay, yeah, okay. And that's the way I am. Like every person's unique. So I knew that this person was struggling with his weight and the clothing he wore would, was not good. And gotcha. I wanted to give him my best 
And I said, you know what? I don't want to shoot you now. So I was losing money by sending him home. And he came back a year later. Like he would, that transformed his life just by putting the attention into the clothing. But he just changed his life by rethinking things. And he's, you know, he's a dear friend of mine now. And he's always just thanked me for, um, for that. So that's, that's an unusual situation where I send somebody yeah. home, but it's pretty consistent that people, um, yeah, that they just have more, you know, more success. People like, you know, even on Facebook, people just, oh my God, who is that? You know, loving their photos, feeling better about themselves and just simply more, like it doesn't take somebody through the, the photos don't go to the finish line. But they go to the. They really take you really through the starting line. To so when you're doing online dating, you're doing it right. You're not wasting your time. You're doing it the best you possibly can if you have the high quality photos in this particular way. And uh, you know, I, just to be, you know, self promoting. When I say high quality photos, I, I you know, going to a portrait artist isn't going to get you the right kind of photo because it's not about a perfect perfect lighting perfect studio you know it's a different kind of photo that works for online dating if you have these high quality photos it will it will work to some you know to some degree but again right. you got you got to cross the finish line well excellent and, and so and i think it's time for us to show some samples of your work so that people can right. maybe place themselves in your studio or imagine themselves having a before and after experience and, and i think some of the will be relatable Hang on one second. So when you say in the studio right now, it's not indoors because of COVID. I shifted everything, and right now it's only outdoors. So we're not going Perfect. to a studio. The Perfect. world, the world is your studio, John. Exactly. <laughs> That's <laughs> wonderful. All right, let's let's get into it. Let's just show some of the pictures. You were going to put that up on the screen, and so we have. Let me see here if this is big enough. So we, we have a before and after here from this person. So what can you tell us about this first picture, the one on the, with the lady on the left here? The lady on the left, um, you no, know, it's a selfie. It's a fine selfie, right? It's a fine, somebody's, it's, it's that standard kind of selfie. Somebody's looking at the picture, putting on a smile, and it's, and it's actually kind of nice. It's nothing wrong with it. But the photo on the right, I mean, as a guy, it makes me interested. Because there's a certain, there's a femininity, there's an attractiveness. It's a different kind of thing. It's still a posed photo, but there's something about it that just works to me. It's just a different kind. I feel something. You know, I feel a, a connection, attraction. And, and, um, and there's something that, that draws the person looking at the photo in for the second one, because it's like she's looking directly at me. Right. And that's interesting you say that because sometimes, Part so I'm not sure if these actually get that, but part of my shoots, I wish I had a sample of exactly that. Part of my shoot is I intentionally create photos that even more than that really make it look like like um, sexually, like romantically, this other person is really looking directly at you intimately. Like not sexually, but just intimately, there's like a real genuine connection just by looking at the photo, like even whatever you saw in that after picture, it's even more so. But that was good to catch you, catch that. Yeah, thank you. And I see you have a picture of a guy here. So this is for for male viewers. Uh, I've seen this way too many times, whether it be uh, on social media or sometimes when I go and just, uh, I used to go and look at what is the competition doing, quote unquote, on the dating app. And I'd see this a lot, the guy with the, with the sunglasses, trying to look all all cool, but you you've done something differently there. So tell us what made you choose that particular pose, and what we're trying to just what so the, story we're trying to tell. So the concept of posing, it's it's there is no there's very little of that. Mm -hmm. So I kind of really we're messing around, we're interacting, we're having fun, yeah. and so the the picture on the right, I just happened to catch him off off moment. And so I, and part of the thing too, I'm shooting so many pictures. Remember that, Elaine? Click, 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 click. click. Yeah, yep. so, it's not, so it's not like, wait, 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 click. 
when you're scared, you know, scared. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and you're posing and frozen. Ugh. It's, not. it's like, just like, you know, <laughs> the person is moving around and in that moving around. Flowing and flowing you're and moving. And you're, so that picture on the right, that's so genuine because I know, I happen to know that he's a dear friend of mine. I We became friends afterwards. And that I know is him. And it's, it, you know, his kindness, his, um, I just feel that genuineness of who that real person is. And that, that person on the right is somebody I'd like to go hang out with, honestly. You know, the person on the left, I'd be a little scared. <laughs> well, the glasses. So, yeah, looks like know, secret, he looks like a member of the Blues Brothers. Or Secret <laughs> Service or something, you know? Right. I never like this. If I can't see their eyes, I'm like, what is he hiding behind there, you know? So, um, so and let's go to the, to the last picture. One thing I noticed from the last picture right away is the attire is very... Um, concealing i can see like we see she's wearing a, a green jacket or whatever that is her face is visible but there's nothing feminine there she looks kind of very she's the coach plain right she looks like a gym teacher and and, right. and, and, anything wrong with and that. the picture on the right we've got we've got a, a contoured uh top a very vibrant color again i can see the smile the glasses because she wears them so we're not going to pretend she doesn't and there's some shoulders there and all of that like the lines are perfectly they're feminine they border on sensual a little bit but it's very tasteful there's a, a guy's not thinking about sex yet just from this picture but he's like who that this is totally, different. You yeah. don't see that on online, online dating app for photos. Let's be real. Let's be real. And that's part of this thing is it's it's a it's an attraction. It's romantic. So here's the thing I say about this business. These are this before and after. I use this for other workshops, you know. And the one on the left, that person. I mean, it's too bad. It's so small. You might not have to be see it so easily. So it's it's like a normal picture that somebody thinks. Oh, maybe this is to answer your question, Richard. You asked earlier. What are some po photos that people think they're good and they're not? And mm -hmm. that's an example of one. She wanted to let people know that she likes going to, she likes sports, she likes going to games. She's at a, a coliseum. But from but from an online dating perspective, what is she looking for a buddy to go to the games with? Right. That's what right. that picture is looking for a buddy to hang out and go to the go to a football game or baseball game or something with. Right. The, photo yeah, the, the, attire, the, the, the the way she's standing, it all says, give me a high five. <laughs> exactly. Every bit of it, but every bit of it. But but and emotionally, emotionally, honestly. So I know the, the attire, the location, all those things also do it. But even her look, the, the, the one on the right, every bit of it says something different and makes somebody looking at it says, wow, I wonder if. So to me, that's the goal. That the person it will it will it will conjure the thought. Hmm. I wonder if I wonder what she's like. I wonder how that would yes. be. I wonder what it's like to be with her. And the one on the right, the one on the left says, "I wonder what it's like to go with a game to a good game with her." The one on the right is, "I wonder what it's like to be in a relationship with her," because I'm feeling something. I'm feeling drawn in, and that's yeah. and that's to me the that to me is the name of the game. Yeah, just like that smile. Like she's she's glowing in this picture. She's somebody who's good looking who's approachable and and she's not covered in makeup like okay it's, so this is the face i'm gonna get when i show up right it's the difference between let's go have a beer with the guys and let's go can i borrow your glass of champagne exactly exactly and and it's like and it's and so it's funny like when i look at the when i go look through the clients the photos with the clients it's kind of strange but i don't really tell people this but um when i we look through the photos. I said, okay, I'm going to go into it. You know, when we're on, on Zoom, I said, okay, let's. I'm, I'm going to go into a zone of being a guy looking through a woman's photos, and I'm going to share with you the ones that really, like, what are my favorites? The one that really touched me. Because I think that's what it's all about. What what a great uh, way to 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 end the conversation here! Like the ones that really touch me, and that's that should be the goal of anybody taking a picture who's looking to connect with somebody else. Is what how am I how is this picture going to touch somebody? I think that the work that you do is is um, essential. 
it's um, it's so important. It's so okay. important. Any, anybody who you were saying something? Yeah, but I just want to say so. I don't want this whole thing to be a promotion about me because I'm the only. I'm the I, only do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do because I can see how important it is. <laughs> but I do. But I do want to say that if you there is a if you're doing this on your own, so it's a, if you could. I'm not sure if it's possible to do it on your own, actually. So I'm trying to think. You possibly you can, but it's really hard to do this on your own, That's or even to do hard. this with a friend because it's unfortunately or fortunately it's such a particular skill yeah so i thought i was going to say something but it really it's not really true it's not it's too hard to do on your own so never mind <laughs> so we didn't notice any any questions for you john and that's okay we're going to drop your link at the bottom here uh we just we just we just dropped the link in the comments and anybody who's looking to get in touch with john who's fascinated by the idea of a photo experience, not just a photo shoot, but an experience, having the world be your studio. Um, anybody who's, who's interested in that, please give uh, John a call. I think you're going to be really delighted with the experience. Uh, and maybe Elaine, at some point, you can share your, your photos with us because now yes. people want to know what Yes, what, well, what I'll share with, with anybody who sends me um, a message, just send me a, a private message and I will send you the, my photos. You can see them. If um, if you're my friends on Facebook, you could peruse my, peruse. my yeah, I, I, at one time I used them as uh, my profile pictures. Um, at least one or two of them, I used my profile pictures on Facebook. And at one time I was, uh, I was on uh, an online dating site and um, I used them for my online photos and I got lots of activity <laughs> at the time when I was looking. So taking a little break at the moment, but uh, John, I want to talk to you again because uh, okay. chances are I might be looking again. So we'll see. We'll see. Sounds good. But you probably, you probably personally introduced me. You know, so many singles. I'm a big fan of personal <laughs> introductions, <laughs> as you can know. I, absolutely. Can I say one more thing about this? So the link. Where are you the, here, I'm buddy? trying to see. Where I don't know what's going you? on. I don't know what's going on. I think you just you. He's trying Scoot to get away there. from me. He's scared of me. I'm trying to see where He's to put myself on the camera. That's <laughs> can I uh, say one more thing? Yes. Can I say one more? So in the link that's in the chat, I'm not. I can't see the chat. Um, oh, okay. What the heck was that? But you okay. might want to once this once this event is closed, you'll lose mm -hmm. that link. So I would suggest if you're at all interested to click on the link now, and it, it won't. It will just open up a new browser for you. And what this is, this is an actual booking link, so you can book your session. There's, I was living, I was in Florida over the winter, so there's two options in Boston or in Florida. Would you mind putting in um, a, a link of my email address in case somebody wants to just talk to me about Let's this? Go ahead. Sure, just you could just type it in, right? Yeah, sure enough. J O N. I, I, can I type it? Uh, J O N. Uh, I can. Go ahead. J O N F I S C H E R photo at Gmail. J O N F I S C H E R photo at Gmail. Boom. But but also you can book a session and then talk to me later, actually, and just talk to me afterwards, you know, to find the right location or and stuff like that. I'd be happy to discuss with you anything about it. Oh yeah, you know what we didn't talk about? I'm so sorry. The price. So based on my awareness that people think that they're not photogenic, I created a really unusual system, really. So the photo shoot, believe it or not, is completely free. And it even comes what? with one. And it what? Even, free? <laughs> what? <laughs> and it even comes with a one photo, believe it or not. So <gasps> the reason why I do that is because I know people think, oh, why even bother? Or why, why would I spend money on this thing that, one, my friend could do good, as good a job, or hey, I, I I'm so unphotogenic, there's no way he can do it. Why would somebody spend money ahead of time? So it's on me to prove it to you that this is completely different. Wow. Awesome. There's no obligation. That's, really, that's putting, yeah, that's putting your money where your mouth is, John. You Absolutely. can't get better than that. Absolutely. It is true. All right. So, John, I'd love to do an event with you. When Are you going to do any live events like you used to now that COVID's over? Or Not sure. We'll talk. All right. Well, I, I don't know if live events is or I don't know. 
We'll talk. I know. I'm in the same boat as you are. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we, and, miss, we miss them, though. And Tammy, I had fun well, with those. Now that you have John's information, you can reach out to him because Tammy had a question here. Tammy's question was, do, do you need a so you need an, 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 Tammy reach out to you and talk to you about that. Please She's do just, that, Tammy. Yep. Yeah, so okay. Tammy, reach out to John and the person and, and, and sort that out. John, thank you so much for coming thank on the show and sharing so much. your wisdom and experience with it. That's thank how, you. That was wonderful. It was a pleasure. Thank you um, very much. everybody who was watching the show, thank you for watching. Share the show with your friends, especially the ones with the bad pictures. Oh, yeah. You know who you, they I are. I say, you know who you are. We <laughs> you know, know who, who you are. <laughs> we know who they are. And we're going to have another great show for you next week. So, so be sure to tune in for that. Elaine, tell everybody where they can find you. They can find me right here on Facebook, Dynamic Introductions on Facebook or online at www.dynamicintroductions.com. That's right. That's where you can find Elaine, the intuitive matchmaker. That's and right. if you're looking for me, I am the dating strategist, particularly like to work with the nice guy. How do you know you're a nice guy? First, you've been called a nice guy. Or you've had people say things to you, like women say things to you, like, you're so sweet. Don't ever change. I wish there were more guys like you, but you're like a brother to me. So I'm going to give you a handshake and a hug instead of kisses and more. If you're that guy who's getting hugs and handshakes when you're rather be getting kisses and tickles in the morning, I can help you with that. So go ahead and drop a comment, uh, direct a, drop a comment, say me, or send me a direct message through this page. You can also find me at grichard360.com. Okay, everyone. Awesome. You, good to see you. Just want to make okay. sure everybody's got John's email address and, and we're out. We'll it. see you next week. Over and out. Take care, everybody. Thank you, John. Thank you, you so much.